Right, now uh, it's time for, for the practices, for our practices here. So here, um, I've actually uh, found an interesting APK file, and I don't want to talk about its purposes here because uh, we are going to do some uh, analysis and on this APK file, which is a binary file you know, of Android uh, uh, ecosystem. This is like an application. We are going to go through that and see what we can get. So, um, I have one uh, file for you. Um, let's actually um, work with our tools step by step, perform an in depth analysis on that. Then, um, okay. That's the file we have here. This is Here is our APK file. So we don't know what is its basically true nature. Uh, we got that from our, for example, boss or in our company or from our client. And uh, we are going to having, you know, a deep analysis inside of that and see what we can get, whether it's a malware, whether it's a virus, it's a malware, which type of malware is that? What is its true purpose? Uh, who is behind of that? and all and all. So we are going to answer all this question today. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna, uh, going to do is, um, first I try to, uh, you know, somehow decompile this file in order to, um, um, you know, um, check out these resources um, and having just a broad, you know, understanding about what's going on inside of it. So I use APK2. Then I use, uh, if you just go over here, you can see all the switches here, you know. I use switch D uh, for uh, the compilation. Um, and then I actually um, said, okay, we're gonna be um, the output. So I specify the output. I wanna put everything in a folder because I would get a bunch of files. This is how Android app works out. Um, I would call this one, um, Let's say uh, app or decompile the app, decompile app. And my file is this one. Okay, so now it works successfully, and here is what do we have. Okay, so um, what we are going to do, we go to this app uh, folder. Um, we have these resources here, as you can see. And um, let me actually uh, visualize that for you better. So one tool that can be quite helpful for you is Visual Studio Code. This is free open source tool. You don't need to do anything here. Okay, let me open this up for you. So um, just real quick, if you want to uh, install that, this is a free open source tool. So you just need to go here, uh, Visual Studio Code. Um, this actually is quite good tool for uh, development and uh, for all kind of, you know, programming languages, a wide range of programming languages. You just download that. There is a GUI here and just, you know, next, 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 and you get the point. So I do have the file. Here I go on the file menu after opening this tool and uh, I said, hey, I need to add a folder, um, add a folder to workspace. My folder is gonna be um, this folder, we just made that. Then you go over here, the whole bunch of tools here, you can also use them, you know, for understanding codes and so forth. So the interesting file for us, as you can see, generated file, is this YAML file with 
APK tool point YML. Here we can get some information. So what we can get, so the name of the file is like that. Is there any compression here? No, it's false. Perhaps there was no compression because the file is small or the, the app or the malware writer or designer. I mean, we don't know necessarily it's a malware or not. Let's presume like that. We yeah, haven't used that to do not, you know, um, get any attention. And we got some information. So here is interesting for us. We got some information regarding SDK information. So minimum SDK version is eight, target SDK is 17. So if you just go over here and a little bit research about um, Android SDK um, history, um, So here we can actually get some information about that. So that being said, um, this app has been designed for old basically phones to perhaps you know cover up wide range of phones um, because if they use the minimum SDK, something quite you know uh, new here, then it, there was there might be some you know inconsistencies with the previous version with older phones. So it's kind of old and um, here are the other information so the next file which is quite you know crucial is Android manifest file so Android manifest file has when you develop any app you know you have to uh, declare all the resources you want to take you know like permissions and uh, services and so forth and you need to introduce your super class or main class or your entry points like your main function sort of thing so since android apps you know are written in java and java is totally you know object oriented so you deal with class super class everything is a class we have subclass we have super class and so forth so uh, let's see um, what we can get here so here we know about the package. Here is the package name, de.rub.csec. And uh, here, these are the permissions that app takes from the operating system when it installs it. So it get permission to read SMS, receive SMS, user di di dictionaries for bookmarks, web, 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 things like that, internet, getting access to network, read contacts, find locations, read calendar, read you know history bookmarks and uh, boot completed phone state network state read call logs and so forth so it could be you know it gives us some general clue but we can say okay this is a spyware because it takes this why because all these typical apps if you install some messenger like whatsapp telegram or anything like that uh, they also need the same, you know, things. They need to read your phone. They read your SMS. They also read your galleries because you want to upload a file or not. So based on that, we can really say, okay, this is a spyware for sure. But it gives us some information, the area of interest of this APK too. So it's focusing on that. That's why it has to announce you know, permissions. Let's a little bit, you know, scroll down. Here we, we have some information about it's uh, you know um, super class to entry point so the entry point super class is called amazed activity so we need to actually take these points into consideration and then we have sms receiver to receive sms here and then here we have two services runner and position series so it's interesting because services you know runs in background they are not like normal apps that you open them you see some GUIs some forms and then when switch they stop or they get freeze they just run like services on your machine it's similar to that like in Linux services they are like that so they are something that actually listening to everything so we have position service runner and so forth okay sounds interesting here what else we get so we have some resources here we have some drawable resources here, some icons, perhaps there are some graphical elements on the app to just look, it's 
doing something constructive and legitimate, you know. There are some menu here, some strings, yeah, things like that. Okay, so as you can see here, we don't have any DX file, any white code file and so forth, because APK2 just, you know, somehow generally decompile the file without giving us um, the whole thing. Now we want to go and uh, uh, do a little bit more forensic and do more little bit in-depth stuff. So what we are going to do, we are going to um, unzip this file, you know, and this APK file and wrap that to a folder. So how we can do that, uh, I use actually 7-zip, you know, uh, if you don't have 7-zip, this is a tool like, you know, for zipping stuff, for WinZip if you have in Windows, you know, or alternative to zip file or tar, uh, g, uh, z, something like that. So how you can install that, um, the quick installation for Mac is like this. Um, so for 7-zip. Uh, you can install that for Mac on Mac, like that. Bo uh, install quite easy, you know, as you can see. P seven zip. That's the command you need for Mac. For the other operating system, it should be quite easy. Um, if you have Ubuntu, then it's going to be like this. Um, I need to update here and then install it with this command. You put here. Uh, if you have Windows, then you even don't need this one, but you can also in install that for Windows. It, there are some GUIs, I believe, you know, here you can go and download it. So put this here for you guys. Uh, later on, you can walk through that and uh, install that so it's gonna be quite easy honestly um all right so what we are going to do we are going to unpack now we decompile the file but now we need to unpack this one so i'm gonna make it directory i said um, um packed um apk and <coughs> excuse me i go over here and then I use this command. I use switch X for unpacking. And then I said, okay, what was the app? This is my app. This is what I got, okay? And uh, if I try to, you know, I'm just trying to do this here. I have the Android manifest file. But if you open it up here, it's not like as nice and clear like this because it, we just unpacked that. We didn't decompile that so you can read it properly. It's just kind of binary file. You have some string, rest of binaries. And what else you get? We have classes, dx file. Here is a place for our classes. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of you know, classes here. But it's all binary and ambiguous. We don't know what is that. We can't really do too much analysis here. And we have resources here and so forth. So as you can see, resources are not packed or compressed. So they look very normal. <clears throat> and yeah, things are like this. So now we got the folder. And now it's time to perform in-depth analysis with Gitra.